everybody. So we're out in the shop and in this episode we are going to be working on something a little bit different than what I planned on doing with this episode. Now it's going to be a cool episode. You're going to like it. If you want to know why I'm not doing the stuff that I planned on doing this week like a Shop Talk Tuesday and all that, stay towards the end of the video and I will let y'all know why. So in this episode we are going to be working on making one of these pendants. I've had a lot of people ask me about the pendant that I wear. Uh, over the years, you know, they, they've asked in different comment sections, things like that. I've been emailed about it. And what this is, is basically a little Thor's hammer, a little Mjolnir, 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 Mjolnir. You know what I mean. This guy right here, it was actually forged out of a bolt. And uh, one of my good friends made it for me a while back and just gave it to me as a gift. I, I've We've traded a few things off here and there. I've made him a couple of things. He's made me a couple of things. And uh, he actually has the original belt grinder that I made, the 2x48 belt grinder that was using the Makita angle grinder as the motor. He actually owns that and still makes knives with it today. So it's pretty cool. But what we're going to be doing is making something like this right here, but we're going to be using a piece of the cable Damascus. So. This was a piece that was pulled off of a build that I was planning on doing and I wanted to go ahead and make another one of these and I figured this would be the perfect piece for it because whenever we actually grind it smooth and polish it and everything and then etch it, it's going to be a really cool looking, you know, one of these. And uh, what we've got to do is we've got to get this cut out and then we got to put it in the forge and make the little loop that we have right here. And then I am going to be doing a lanyard as uh, well, so I'm going to be using one of the paracord and uh, use it, but I'm going to do something unique with it. I'm going to do a couple of knots and whatnot in the actual paracord, so you'll be able to see that. Let's go ahead, let's jump into this, and let's get this thing knocked out.
Okay, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up right here. Now, this is how we're looking right now. So you can see the pattern going through here as I move it. You can see the little silver lines and everything going through there. It's not as dark as the knife that we did, but I'll tell you, when you're looking at it in person, you can see all those lines and striations. It just doesn't show up super well on the camera, but I didn't want to leave it in the etchant for very much longer because I've got all of the edges nice and smooth right now. And the longer I leave it in the etchant, the more that it eats away at those edges and it'll start getting little jagged areas around the, the areas that it eats in deeper. And I didn't want to have that happen because this is going to be laying against my, my skin at some point. It's going to get sweated on. It's going to have different things that happen to it. But, you know, I, I'm super happy with this. Whenever I made the Damascus knife, I was just super happy with that. And then whenever I made the cable Damascus knife, I was like, okay, that's badass. I wanted something like this so that I could have it with me all the time. And uh, I think that this is really cool. Hopefully y'all like it. Um, so a few of the things that we did. We did go through, do a couple of snake knots at the very top of it. And then I actually did this right here. So this is whenever you take and you cut the paracord then you heat both ends up and you push them together and then you smooth it all out. Super, super sturdy and it's really low profile, but this sits exactly where I wanted it to sit right here. It's very comfortable. So I am happy with how this turned out. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. So if y'all are wondering why I didn't do a Shop Talk Tuesday video this week, or why I'm not doing the handle scales for the simple EDC by stock removal. It's because I've been working on a build that's going to be coming up in a future video that's really important that I've been waiting on stuff to come in so that I could start it. And I was finally able to start it and it has been a nightmare. Everything has just not worked out. It's been hurdle after hurdle after hurdle and I've had to put a lot of focus on it to try and get it to either work out or not work out because I've got till the end of this week to be able to decide, okay, I'm going to stick with this blade or I need to start something else to be able to make the deadline. So, you know, it is what it is. Plus work's been crazy and, you know, chest stuff going on with a, a little uh, respiratory infection and whatnot. That's why I sound like this, but all that stuff aside, I am happy with this. I wanted to do this for a while. I wanted to do a pretty simple build and this was a build that we were able to do in a few hours, which is awesome. Really happy with how it turned out and I've wanted another pendant for a while. I will of course still be keeping this one right here because this is the original one and uh, I am super happy about this one. So guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. That's it for this video. If y'all would, give this video a thumbs up, share this video or one of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe at 50,000 subscribers. I'm doing a hand forged 500 layer Damascus knife and I'm going to be giving it away. So there you go. Look forward to that. Thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. Catch y'all next time.